Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we're going to have a look at a few solar panels and some of the common issues and faults that we find with solar panels. So from a distance this solar panel looks like there's no problems at all, but when we come in closer we can actually see we've got some issues here. We, for example, look at this cell here. You can see a fine line here going down the cell and, and it goes right across, right across the cell here. And this is a micro crack. Now micro cracks start off as something that you can't really even see on a panel. But over time as heat tries to get over this crack in the silicon, it, it starts to heat up and starts to become visual like this has here. And we've also got another one uh, over here we can see right down here and above it we've got another one across here. So these micro cracks, they, they come in, in obviously different shapes and sizes. They can be caused by defects in the uh, manufacturing process of the solar panel, or they can potentially be caused when, they're be when the panel's been installed or in transportation, um, because of the, the cells are very fragile and they can easily crack. And when they crack like that, over, uh, at first it might be only a small minute amount of power loss, but over time, as, as we start to have heat going across them like this, it can add up into larger power losses. And obviously any power loss is, uh, from a solar panel is less power that you're actually harvesting. So it's waste and uh, we don't want that. Now that's not the only problem that we've got with this panel here. If we come up to the top corner over here and you have a look, you can actually see all cracking going on here. Now this is cracking in the back sheet of the solar panel. So on the top of the solar panel, we've got tempered glass, then we've got the cells and the buzz bars, and then on the we've got the back sheet on the back. And the, uh, the white EVA back sheet is designed to just encapsulate the solar panel so no moisture can get in. But what we've seen here is that there's cracking going on in the back sheet. It's, it's been exposed to uh, UV for a number of years now and it's starting to fail. Now cracking like this leads to moisture getting inside the panel and moisture and electricity don't go well together. If we see just up in this buzz bar here, you can see it should be a silver color like this over here. However, it's starting to go brown as moisture is getting into it. And this will uh, cause the solar panel to fail and if it's connected to a grid connect solar inverter, the inverter is going to go out on uh, earth leakage faults. So that's our first panel. Let's have a look at our next one. So here we have our second panel. And if we come up close to this one, we can see in between the cells, it's looking like a bit of bubbling going on or something's happening there. And if we go up a little bit higher, you can actually see it's a bit greeny yellow in here. And this is actually moisture in the back of the panel. So moisture is getting into the panel. Now we're just going to turn this panel around and have a look at the back sheet of the panel. And if you have a look at the back sheet of the panel, you can see how in between the cells it's actually cracking. So once again, like the last one we looked at, the back sheet of this panel is failing and where it's been exposed to the sun on the other side, it's actually cracking. And where it's cracking like that, moisture is getting into the panel. And once again, it's going to start having uh, issues with earth leakage. So this is another example of the back sheet failing on a solar panel. Okay, on to our next one. Here we have a solar panel with hot spots in a cell. If you come down and have a look at this cell here, you can see we've got burn marks inside the cell. Now this could be caused by poor soldering and poor joints in the buzz bars when it was originally uh, created, manufactured. And something like this is power's going through the cell, but it's finding a, a, a lot of resistance in this cell, in this bit of the buzz bars, and so it's heating up. Now if we turn the panel around, see the back of it, You can actually see what's going on in the back. So it's actually burnt through the back sheet. And uh, obviously this is a real fire hazard. This, uh, to cause the back sheet to melt like this, you are looking at probably a couple of hundred degrees. It's not what you want on your roof. 
Let's have a look at the next one. So like the last panel we had a look at, this panel also had a hot spot in the cell. And you can actually see the glass looks quite crazed. It's tempered glass on solar panels and this glass is actually shattered. And the reason it's shattered is because there's been a hot spot in the cell down here. You can see the uh, discoloration going on down here. And that is actually, the, the heat generated from that has actually caused the glass to shatter. So a lot of times when you see shattered solar panels, it could be from an impact. Usually if it's from an impact, there's going to be a real uh, a, a, a indent or something like that in the actual solar panel to show where the actual point of impact was. However, a lot of times it's not going to be caused by an impact. It's going to be caused by a hot spot in the panel, just like this one. Now, if we turn this around, just like on the last one, We see here where the cell has been burning out and as that's heated up, it's caused the glass to crack. So that's a complete failure of the panel. It it's, uh, needs to be replaced altogether. So with this panel here, very similar to the last two, it's actually got a hot spot as well, but this is an actual hot cell. You see where the, the burn marks around the cell where it's been heating up and you can actually see the cracks all inside this cell. So what's been happening is the whole solar power system has been feeding power through each panel and there's been an issue with this cell. You can see by the cracks inside it and instead of passing power through it, it's been like a resistive spot and it's actually been um, the power from the rest of the panel has actually been feeding into it, heating it up and causing it to burn out like this. So uh, that's another failure of a solar panel. Okay, this time I'm going to show you two panels at the same time. And if we look at the top of the panels, which is when it was installed, it was actually the bottom of the panels, you can see some really nasty colorations going on here. Uh, we've got some great blacks colors over here. And over here, we've got some beautiful greens going on. Really, really pretty. We've got a really green solar panel here. So in both of these cases, this is from moisture getting in the panel. So moisture is getting in and it's shorting a, well, between these buzz bars here and the edge of the frame, it's shorting out. There's leakage from, of the DC power to earth. You can actually see the moisture is actually getting into the actual cells here as well. And this is causing the inverters to trip out on earth leakage once again. Now, the reason for this is moisture ingress into the panel and the way the moisture is getting into these panels is because the back sheets of the panels are actually delaminating. They're separating from the actual cells. If you have a look at down the edge here, you can see the two different types of colorations here. We've got a sort of grayish white and a, and a white. That is where the back sheet is actually separating from the glass and moisture is getting into the panel because of it. So once again, we have an issue which is going to require the solar panels to be replaced. Some of these panels we've seen are from reptile manufacturers and the issues are being uh, covered under the manufacturer's warranty. However, some of the manufacturers have disappeared or they're no longer represented in Australia, which leaves in this case with these two panels, the manufacturer's not around anymore. So the poor customers, they got to pay to get the panels replaced. So is solar power actually worth it when you see all these issues? Well, let's just have a look at one more panel. Okay, so our last solar panel for the day is from a company called REC. Now REC is a company that we've been using their solar panels for like the last eight years or so, so far. And they're made in a state-of-the-art facility in Singapore and they're represented locally in Australia. And what that means is that there is local support. If we need uh, help with an issue, we've got someone local we can talk to and we can get help quite quickly to get our customers back in action if, they, if there should be an issue, which thankfully with REC, they've got the lowest warranty claims in the industry. So there's very, very few things which actually go wrong with them. Actually, the issues that we've seen in the last panels we've had a look at, we've never seen any of those issues with the REC solar panels which is certainly a great thing. They're some of the main issues that you will see with solar panels. So look, um, if, it's, if you're buying panels from a company which aren't represented locally in Australia or in representing your country, then if there is a warranty claim, well, what's gonna happen? Is the company who sold you the panels going to deal with it? Or are you gonna to have to try and deal with it directly with the manufacturer? We find a lot of times the uh, manufacturer, manufacturers are in China and 
if you're trying to make a warranty claim, you need to try and talk to them in China. And we've had it before where you, you email them about it, you call them about it, and you don't really get much feedback. And then we, we got back, oh, okay, sorry to hear about your issue. In your next container load shipment of solar panels, we'll add those panels free of charge. Uh, we're not really going to do that. We don't like their panels. We've seen these issues with them. We don't, we don't want to trust them with more of our business. So we're not going to get another container load of solar panels just to cover those 20 which have had an issue. What about all these other ones which are out there which are most likely going to have the same issues out of the same batches of panels? It's just not a risk we're willing to take. That's why we like to stick with reputable manufacturers like REC. Now, we're not saying REC are the only good manufacturers in Australia. However, they are one that we've had great success with, so we are happy to recommend. So, if you're on the Gold Coast or Southeast Queensland and you're after a good quality solar power system, or you've got an existing solar power system which is having issues, you can certainly give us a call. If you're somewhere else around the world, I'd recommend getting in touch with a local solar power company with a reputable track history for being there for their customers. Thanks for watching this video, I hope it's been helpful for you.